Jacqueline Hanna. I'm the general manager at Common Ground Food Co-op in Urbana, and I've been part of Common Ground for four years now. Well, for us, it was something we were immediately excited about. Uh, we were really excited when we were approached. This is something that we're proud to see happening in Illinois and to get the opportunity to be really at the forefront of being part of. It's important to us that to encourage the rest of the business community to do something that we've already taken very seriously, which is to consider the stewardship of the community and of the environment of our area, of our community, and of our state. So when uh, we were approached, uh, we were said, absolutely, this is something we want to be a part of. It's valuable not only to inspire other businesses to become a part of this, but to let consumers know that this is that they can rely on us, that we're not just saying we're a green business, that we've really gone out of our way to meet goals uh, and challenges to show that we are truly a sustainable business in Illinois. Um, the response has been wonderful. When we first announced that we were engaging in the process and attempting to become certified, we got tons of responses actually from our owners in many different formats and people actually stopping me in the store and saying they were really excited that we were going to be a pilot, uh, that our store was going to be one of the first to be certified. So from there they've just been engaged and I've actually, it took months of the process, you know, meeting different goals and people would stop me and say, what's going on with that? Are you guys certified yet? Um, so they were engaged all along and when we were finally able to put up that sticker and announce that we've been certified the response was really positive and very strong and we still get people coming in asking us what does this mean that you're a member of this organization and they've also come in and said I saw the sticker and that's really awesome I'm glad you guys are really putting your support behind this so we've really seen the kind of response we hoped for and even more this is our green cleaning products uh, department and green cleaning products is a really important way to make a difference in the community and what's going into our water streams and what we're breathing in in our homes. Actually most people don't realize how unbelievably toxic most home cleaners are. We carry a wide selection of all sorts of non-toxic home cleaners and we're constantly expanding it. We have everything, you we have laundry soap, dish soap, we also have ways to polish your wood floors and even uh, paint stripper that is completely non toxic and safe for the environment and we're really committed to this this is something where customers have shown a lot of concern and interest in greening their homes so this is something that we're very proud of this is our public bathroom at Common Ground and while this might seem like an at least exciting part of the store to show you uh, there's several green practices in our bathroom that we're actually very excited about and proud of one of them is that we've installed water aerators in all of our sinks and also of course indicate to people use water wisely. Sometimes we all need reminders that we maybe don't need to leave the faucet on. But something that we think is even more exciting is our toilets, <laughs> which most people wouldn't think of as something very exciting. But in the way of green and conservation practices, we're excited about them because we have a low flow toilet uh, that we actually learned about from the, some other co-ops that they use where it has two options in how much water you use. And so if you're not needing very much water, you can use the low flow option and actually save 60% of the water you would usually use in an average toilet. Doesn't sound like a big deal, but it actually conserves thousands and thousands of gallons of water a year. So it's something that we're very proud of. Well, what this is, this is our bag tree program. Um, we're very excited about this. When we moved to this location in 2008, we wanted to find a way to decrease the amount of disposable bag waste going out of our store, which is significant in a grocery store. Uh, so we said, how can we, people always forget though, bring their own bags. You hear that all the time. People will be at the register and say, oh, I forgot my bag. So how can we help with that? And, and make sure that we aren't giving out more plastic bags that people don't even want. And so what we came up with was the idea of the bag tree. And what this is, is just a place on our wall where customers can leave bags that they no longer have a use for or they have too many at home. And then customers can actually come over here and take a bag so they have a way to get their groceries home if they've forgotten their own bag. We found this is really popular and successful because lots of people want to do the right thing and bring their own bag, but remembering one more thing to do often falls off our list. So this has been a great way that we uh, can help people and actually help customers help each other to make a difference. Well, right now, um, I, we're extremely proud of it and we found our owners are proud of it. It's developed pride in our business and being part of our business and patronizing our business for our customers. Um, so that's the immediate response that we've been really excited about. But long term, I mean absolutely our hope is that this will inspire a movement in Illinois businesses to take seriously sustainability being much more than just fiscal but being environmental and being community based. Um, and we really believe that an organization like this can make that happen and help us to be part of it.